Hello, cardiologists from Brazil. I have the pleasure to be at the ESC 2011 Congress with Dr. Christopher Granger from Duke University, who just presented the Aristotle trial. Thank you for talking to Brazilian cardiologists, doctor. We'd like you to comment a little bit about the Aristotle trial. What was the rationale and the results of the study? Well, we were very excited about the results of the Aristotle trial. This was a trial of patients with atrial fibrillation and at least one risk factor for stroke, so patients who require oral anticoagulation. And we tested the novel oral anticoagulant, a factor 10A inhibitor, apixaban versus warfarin. And we had four objectives in the trial, and we met all four of these objectives, really quite spectacular results, we think. Uh, first of all, we showed that with respect to prevention of stroke, that apixaban was at least as good as warfarin. And then we showed not only is it as good, but it's actually superior, 21% relative risk reduction of stroke compared to warfarin. Understanding that warfarin itself is highly effective for preventing stroke. Next, and, and one of the most exciting findings was we also showed a major reduction in major bleeding. So bleeding, according to the ISTH definition, um, was reduced by 31% with apixaban compared to warfarin. And then finally, we also showed that there was a reduction in all-cause mortality, an 11% relative risk reduction in all-cause mortality. So the combination of a drug then that is both more effective than warfarin at preventing stroke and substantially safer is a very exciting finding and we believe very important for patient care. And was the benefit consistent among patients with older age and with in patients with renal dysfunction? We looked at lots of different subgroups and in every single one we found consistency of the benefit of apixaban. We also found that the drug is better tolerated than warfarin, which is another exciting finding. So fewer patients had to stop a pix had to stop a pixaban than warfarin. So it's well tolerated, safe, effective, consistent effects across subgroups. And what about the dose you use? Did you have to do any arrangement between doses? So the dose we use five milligrams twice a day is a single dose across the program. With the exception of a small proportion, about 5% of the population got a reduced dose, 2.5 milligrams twice a day. And those patients were patients who had two of three criteria. Age greater than or equal to 80, body weight less than or equal to 60 kilograms, serum creatinine greater than or equal to 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. In the results, we've seen that the benefit was both mostly because of the reduction in bleeding. Are you a little bit disappointed because it did not reduce that much ischemic stroke? No, we're really not disappointed at all because it did reduce ischemic stroke, major reduction in ischemic stroke because warfarin is highly effective at preventing ischemic stroke. And this was even more effective than warfarin, than, than even, even with ischemic stroke. So, Per thousand patients treated over 1.8 years, we prevented six strokes, four hemorrhagic and two ischemic, 15 major bleeding events, and eight deaths. So that turns out to be, a, compared to other treatments that we use in cardiovascular disease, that turns out to be very effective treatment. And just for the last question, uh, what do you think are the most important differences between the oral thin inhibitors and direct thrombin inhibitors that are available? Well, they're very different drugs in terms of how they act. The results of the trials have some consistency, though. The RELY trial with dabigatran also showed that there were benefits of an oral anticoagulant compared to warfarin. It's more convenient. There was, it was at least as good, the higher dose better than warfarin at preventing stroke, and it was relatively safe, especially with respect to intracranial hemorrhage, where there likewise was a substantial reduction in intracranial hemorrhage. So the good news for patients now is that we have a, we have a number, well, we have one approved, and, and we anticipate to have more drugs available, which are excellent alternatives to warfarin, and we believe that apixaban has a particularly nice profile. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. You're welcome.